Sup lads and lasses, it's Sam here again, and um, here we are again for another Sam Talks episode. Um, this time, um, well, obviously, I've selected my categories, because you've always got to have a category to talk about, and this time, I'm going to go with memories, chances, and I'm going to talk a little bit about um, Rousing Users Group. Okay, so basically, the um, reason I've chose these categories is um, basically, well, I mean, the weekend just gone, I had a nice trip down to Wyndham in Norfolk to see a friend. Um, uh, yeah, and, um, and I stayed a few nights down there, it was, it was decent. Um, but basically, on the first night while I was there, I had this, because there's a hamster cage right near where I was sleeping, and then I had this, this, this hideous noise of a hamster. And I mean, it's just the story of my life, really. Um, and this, this is why, you know, this is where I'm gonna come into the category of memories, and this is why it's so important to have these kind of memories. Now, basically, it, it just, you know, it made me laugh because it reminded me about the time when, um, this is to do, um, when, when I had uh, my ex-fiance, because uh, I used to stay over hers, and basically we used to crush in this small, single bed and it was um, it was quite funny actually to be fair so we had a crush in this small single bed and then um, so and then she had she had two hamsters well three hamsters even the first one was called Elmo and the other two were called Coco and Boo um, and basically they used to have this 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 hamster wheel and every time they went in this hamster wheel, it was, it was, it, bear in mind it was a silenced hamster wheel, so it was one purposely not to make noise, so, you know, so you can sleep easily with them in the same room. Um, but basically, what these hamsters used to do, they used to move this wheel towards, um, because they used to have like a lot of ramps and things that they used to go up in inside the cage, but they used to somehow manage to push the wheel towards the, the platforms where they used to walk on the top, and the wheel would spin, and you'd hear this ridiculous, hideous noise going <laughs> when it was turning. Oh, they were a nightmare. But I tell you what, it was hilarious. I mean, it's, it's the story of my life having to literally just jump out of the bed and move the hamster wheel back so they could so it would stop making the noise. But every time, every so often, it was every five minutes or so, they'll do it again. It was just, it was absolutely unbelievable. And, and it just made me laugh how I could hear the rustling of this hamster like keeping me awake at night at, um, at, Ross's, uh, at Ross's house because Ross is my friend um, uh, and, 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 and it just kept waking me up and it just reminded me of that and then that's when it just occurred to me that you know memories are so important and, um, and, and you've got to have them because you know you've got to look back and think yeah they were some brilliant memories um, you know, some people don't keep memories, and I think it's a, it's a bad idea because you can't regret your past, really. You can't. Um, you've had, you know, you've had, you've made many mistakes, um, and you know, the, the past is the past. And you know, I mean, I've kept all my memories, in all fairness. Um, uh, and um, well, there's some memories on this YouTube channel. Um, if you look down further down, there's some really funny, proper messed up videos like as in videos that are quite embarrassing as well actually but the thing the way I see it is it's memories you know you, you don't want to get rid of those you know keep the memories it's important they're very important because one day you're going to look back and you're going to think oh fuck I wish I caught I wish I kept their memories you know and sometimes I think that as well because there were some vid photos I deleted um, oh a few years ago and I think to myself you know what, I wish I kept those because, you know, it's good memories because some of those photos had people in there that I don't even talk to anymore. Um, not because I don't like them, but because they've just moved on and moved away, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're getting on with their careers and their lives and bits and pieces. I used to get on with them really well. We used to have laughs. And, and I find it's really important to have that still so you can look back on, you know what I mean? And just think, oh, yes, that was a perfectly good time, you know? 
and you get some people that just chuck them away and I just find it I find that ridiculous like I really do um, because you know you you, you gotta have them um, and you know one of these days you'd probably look back and think oh shit you know and and I don't really want that in all fairness to be honest yeah so having memories is really important and you know you've and and you know you've had some good times and you've got to keep those memories the way I see it now um now we're going to move on to chances now chances um it's, it's, it's a strong thing nowadays, you see. Um, a lot of people don't give people chances nowadays. Um, again, going back to 2018, this year, which we do find that, um, well, I, I call it the curse of 2018, to be honest, because, I mean, there is so many people out there which are just, you know, idiots. Like, you know, they don't give a crap about people. That's it then. You've done it now. That's it. Chances are important. Um, I suppose you could say that, you know, we're only human, we all make mistakes, which we do, we're not perfect. Anyone who's perfect, you're just, well, there must be something wrong with you. <laughs> so it must be something wrong with you if you're perfect, because no one in this world is the perfect icon, you know what I mean? You're not Mr. Perfect or Mrs. Perfect, you know, you can't be. It's physically impossible, okay? Um, and um, we all make mistakes, we're only human, I mean I should know because I've made many many mistakes, like I mean I'm the master of disaster for crying out loud. In fact, I'm probably the, what, what because people used to call me in, in Haverhill when I was at school, they used to call me Mr Bean because I mean the amount of mistakes and, and the clumsiness of me was just unbelievable like. And I, and I admit that, I am quite clumsy and, you know, and sometimes I just don't think, you know what I mean, and it's, I don't like it either, I find it so irritating, um, and um, I get really upset and angry about it, to be honest with you, because, um, you know, sometimes I forget things, sometimes, you know, I, I say stupid things, and... And, and, and you know what I mean, and, and it's, it, I suppose it's just me, you know, it's, I can't help that. Um, and, and I regret them sometimes, you know what I mean, and, and it's just, it's one of those things, you know. Um, we all make mistakes, um, but, um, and I mean, I just think it's important sometimes for somebody to have a second chance, and that's the way I see it, um, because, uh, you know, it's, it's a way of, you know, that, that particular person will learn from their mistakes. And um, once they've learned from their mistakes, they won't do it again. And I think it's important to have second chances with, you know, I think people should have second chances and, um, and, and you know, they, they won't make their mistakes again. And that's the way I see it. Um, and if they do make mistake, mistakes again, you know, just tell them to get stuffed, really, I suppose, you know, um, but it's important to, you know, give a person a chance, it's the way I see it, and, and a lot of people don't do that these days, which is, is, is slightly worrying and concerning, um, and, um, okay, so now we're going to move on to our sug. Right, so, I like Train Sim. I mean, let's face it, I play it an awful lot. Look at it. Oh, yes. Listen to it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I play it an awful lot. And, and um, you know, uh, I do find the Rail Sim community to be a little irritating sometimes. Really, nigga? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, it's been irritating me a hell of a lot recently because a few days ago um, a few days ago a video was put up for me uh, of me to be honest with you it was it wasn't I didn't I didn't even give permission for this video to be uploaded um, and um, and the first thing people say is oh you look sad uh, you know you look like one of those 
train bashes off the documentary called Train Bashes and uh, the ones that go and hang out the windows at galas start waving their hands about and looking like an absolute knob and all this lot. You know, just generally taking the piss out of me and my friend Will who play, um, you know, Train Sim. And I just, I just, I really do, it just infuriates me. Because again, you know, it's this day and age, you know, this society nowadays where people just find it fun to take the piss. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just, it really is, just, it, it really is just absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it really is. And, um, you know, he was like saying, oh yeah, he was doing it the other day on the 37s. No, no. I was enjoying the 37s. If you look on my video, you'll see that I was having fun. You know? You've got to have fun in life. It's the way it is. If you're not fun, then, you know, why? You know? You only live once. It's the way you see it. You know what I mean? You've got to be fun in life. I mean, bloody hell, I go on adventures all the time with people. And friends and family and things like that. I mean, I'm travelling the bloody world. You know what I mean? I like to see the world for what it is. I like to explore. I like to see things. You know, there's so many things that I've seen in the world and I think it's awesome. You know what I mean? You've got to make the most of, of the world, really, in all fairness. You have. You've got to make the most of it. You've got to see these things because you only have that one chance at life and once that one chance is gone, you're dead and that's it. You know what I mean? You've got... That's it. You know, you're dead. And then... Well, your life's over. You've done everything. You've done everything you wanted to do, well hopefully you've done everything you wanted to do, I mean, you know, it's, it, is, it is what it is, you only get one chance in life, so fucking do it, you know what I mean, it's, it is the way it is, um, so, you know, and I mean, it just irritates me how these people are taking a mick and that, and, um, and I find it really immature, and, um, you know, it's, it, it, is, it, is, it is a shame as well, really, because there are some nice people in that Rail Sim users group. Um, our SUG, should I say. Um, and, um, and then you just get these total bellends, these teenage idiots who just take the piss, you know? And um, it just infuriates me, you know what I mean? And, 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 and in the way I see it is, you know, if you have a problem with me, you know, the way I see it is, you can just have some of that. You know what I mean? Just have some of that. You know, if you have an issue with me, you know what I mean. If you, if you, if you just, if you just, you know, generally just want to take a piss, fucking go ahead. But you can, you, you, you know, you can, you can stick it because uh, I ain't got time for you. You know what I mean? It, it's that's the way I see it. I ain't got time for you. It's, it's, you know, it, it is what it is. You know. Um, you, I just find it irritating how you can just judge someone. I mean, it wasn't even a video that I put up. It was somebody else put the video up of me, and yeah, you know, so you think I look like a pleb, but I was having fun. That's what, that's what was going on. I was having fun, I was enjoying it. I'm not a knob, I'm not a weirdo, I'm not, cr well, come to think of it, I am a bit weird, aren't I? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm crazy, I mean, I'm mad, I'm, you know, I'm insane, you know, I go on these, these ridiculous trips to places, you know what I mean, like, I mean, it's, it's insane, but it's fun, you know, you gotta have fun, it's just, it's just the way it is, you know, um, you gotta have fun in your life, you only have that one time, one chance, and then, and then that's it, so, um, but yeah, so, but yeah, that's basically all I really want to talk about today, so we've covered memories and chances, it's important to have memories, you don't want to throw them away because, you know, it's, 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 it's important in your life to have memories, to look back on, to think, oh yeah, that was good times, because, you know, you don't want to forget things, you know, um, and then, uh, chances, you know, if somebody comes up to you, and, you know, maybe you was really upset or really angry at them or something like that. And they say, you know, oh, just give me one more chance, you know. Just give them a chance, man. Maybe just, you know, just... See how it goes. And then, if it doesn't go work out, you know, or it doesn't doesn't go according to plan, throw them out. It's, you know, it's, it's, the, it's what it is. Um, and, you know, as for our sug, I enjoy Train Sim. You know, it's it's fun. I have fun. Yeah, maybe you know the waving arms thing. You know, 
maybe you might think it's, you know, you can take the piss, but to be honest with you, I mainly just laughed at it, to be honest, I was just like, ha ha ha, yeah, look at me, I just, you know, I found it funny, if anything, I didn't find it something to take the piss out of, I found it funny, like, you know, have a funny reaction, just have a laugh, you don't need to take the piss, why do it, what's the point, it just makes you look like a prick, really, it makes you look like an immature little kid, and that is just the way it is, okay, um, and that's all from me today and um, yeah so if you enjoyed uh, Sam Talks please comment like and subscribe and um, and I'll see you lads and lasses soon